Okay, what's up? What's happening? What's going on? All that good stuff. Cool. Um, more... Garland Square recently opened oh. on the outskirts of London. Within the complex, there are department stores, a hotel, a park, and an office building. It's a complete urban complex. However, the complex has been taken over by a terrorist group called the URDA, led by Erda. Derek Lynch. Not David Lynch, obviously. Our mission is to liberate Garland Square and suppress the URDA. This is a dangerous operation. So keep your guard up at all times. Roger. What the fuck? I don't know, that was kind of retarded. I'm, I apologize. So. Crisis. Crisis zone. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to chop that uh, entire. For, well, mute the entire first part, unfortunately. Then something, I don't know. I'm trying to remember what happened. Time crisis. Crisis zone. Okay. Guess I kind of overlooked all that stuff. How did I turn this down? Well, I'm going to go ahead and just pull up information about this. Um, actually, I got this game off of some guy on eBay. Uh, Nostalgia.etc. Etc. Um, I could have probably got it for a better deal elsewhere or from someone else if I would have waited, but I didn't really want to wait. Um, so, you know, I just went ahead and went for it. Now, let's see. Uh, as soon as this information pulls up, I'm going to go ahead and start reading about this. Zone select background information and such. Uh, Garland Park. And anytime now, whenever I can get it started. I don't know if they I don't know if they yell at me about stuff before we start or what. No? Okay, anyway, let's go then. Uh, developed by Namco, published by Namco. Um, it's part of the Time Crisis series. It was on arcade and PlayStation 2. Um, and let's see, it was released on PlayStation 2 in North America on October 19, 2004. I'm finding this kind of unfortunate, like how cloudy everything gets when I'm shooting. And overall, otherwise than that, it's like kind of fun. I wish it just didn't like take over the entire screen doing its flash effect thing. So I was like noticing that as I was editing it, because I totally forgot about it while I was playing the damn game. I don't really even remember that, doing that when I was recording, but I don't know, it's been a while anyway. I probably was doing that when I was recording. I just find it kind of unfortunate how it makes the entire screen cloudy while it's shooting, and that's kind of like, not cool. I don't remember it doing that in Time Crisis 3. So, uh, anyway, single player or multiplayer. It was originally on the arcade system, Namco system Super 30, 23. Uh, and, you know, raster or standard resolution horizontal orientation. Uh, Crisis Zone is a spin-off of the popular Time Crisis arcade shooter. I don't want to get into the plot. Might have spoilers I've not encountered yet. Background in Crisis Zone, the player is part of the elite anti terrorist troopers of the Special Tactical Force STF, Claude, Claude uh, McGarren. He uses the same pedal system to reload and hide. However, the player uses a machine gun, a customized steer, man leecher, or man licker TMP, with a sight laser and a capacity of 40 rounds. Players take cover behind a portable ballistic shield that is strapped to the character's left arm. Price is known as the first time Crisis game day to date to allow the player to select between three levels of play in any order. Upon completion of all three of them, the player can then 
play the final level to beat the game. Oh. A PlayStation 2 remake of the game was released in 2004 in the UK and US with smoother polygon textures. Higher difficulty and an additional mission taking place six months after the Crisis Zone arcade mode. The PS2 port is compatible with the GunCon 2 light gun and is available with an unusual two-player cooperative gameplay mode called Two-Gun Mode. Action. By allowing two players to play simultaneously on a single-player mode without the use of split screen or weapon switching system, similar to Time Crisis 3, with some changes. Allowing the player to switch between a fully automatic machine gun, a standard handgun, and a shotgun, depending on the settings. The US version of the PlayStation 2 remake is called Time Crisis, Crisis Zone. Um, that's really all there is to that. As far as its information goes, so it's fair. It's interesting enough, I suppose. Um, and it's pretty fun too. I'm a, I've had fun playing it. I would really like to play the new Time Crisis game on uh, what is it? On PlayStation 3. I'll get around to it. I hear it's rather affordable as far as that goes. So, I don't know, we'll see how that goes and all that good stuff. Um, otherwise, this is pretty cool. I bet I'm having fun playing it. You know, I was actually out shopping the other, well, just looking around, uh, seeing if I could find any good deals on games, but I didn't. However, some thrift shops, I saw them, they had some stupid cheap uh, uh, tube displays for like 30, 35 bucks, and they were decent size, too. I don't know how crappy or good they were. They just really sounded more like generic um, brands of televisions anyway. Apex and Dynex, if I remember. And I know Dynex is cheap and junk as shit. I don't know how well they worked either. Um, but um, I'll have to keep it in mind should I have the opportunity. That, you know, I have to look for that. Although I had to definitely find someone to help me carry that shit. Oh, and apparently my mic is yelling at me that it's about to die. Which is kind of strange because um, between videos all evening, I've been hooking it up so it can charge. You know, in between videos, well, it loads up or buffers or whatever. So ho hopefully, and I don't see why it shouldn't, it should be able to last for the next five minutes. Even though it's yelling at me and beeping at me about how I need a recharge. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is the mic that's beeping. I don't think it's the, it's the game. I don't know, it could be the game. I can't remember if it made noises like that. But I'm pretty sure it's the mic. And I can't really tell because I also have the sound turned down. Because I forgot to change the audio of the game. Um. So I can go work on it. So I generally change it, you know, so it's already mixed and I just gotta, you know, change, or, you know, lay down the audio or commentary or whatever. So, let's see. Come here, you helicopter. Stop floating around doing stuff. Actually, I wouldn't mind having a pedal for this. That would be pretty cool. I didn't know you... Well, I knew you could get a pedal. I've seen them. But, um... Actually, that would probably make things a little easier. A little easier. I can't say to, like, take away the, the issue or whatever, but... I could make things a little easier, I suppose. Instead of trying to, you know, mess with my hands on the gun, I could just stop the pedal or, you know, not stop it, but, you know, I can spin right with it that way. Although, although I don't know if it requires to hook it up USB or whatever, probably does require to hook it up USB, so, I don't know, let's see, maybe I'll look into getting a hold of one eventually, maybe, I don't know, though, let's see, though. Yeah, actually, like I've been saying, I've been looking for, um, to complete all the shooters, light gun shooters on PlayStation 2. Um, so far I only have Time Crisis 2, 3, and this one, Crisis Zone, as well as recently Endgame that I have not yet done a play of yet. Um, and the other day I did see Vampire Night uh, in a used game store place, 
Uh, however, I didn't go for it. I think it was like just 10 bucks. The both copies they had were junk. No, I think it was like 15 bucks, and that's why I didn't go for it. But also because, um, I'm not sure, because it's really only Ninja Assault and, um, uh, Vampire Knight. Continue. Ouch! Why did I take that to the Action. face? Like an idiot. Vampire Knight and Ninja Assault that have, um, a gun con 2 with them because who I think I could shoot those missiles too but I gotta be careful with that anyway because I still might take some hits and I don't need that so oh this this is friendly of the asshole who's in that helicopter. Nice guy, isn't he? So, I'm still looking to get a hold of the bundle. I don't know if uh, it actually comes with other stuff or other games, but uh, as far as I know, if it's only uh, Vampire Knight and Ninja Assault that come with the Gun Con 2 bundle. Otherwise, I'm also looking to get a hold of Dino Stalker. Um, with the Dino Stalker, Resident Evil Dead Aim. There's definitely another one I feel like I'm forgetting. I might not be, because I did get a hold of Endgame, so it definitely does take one off the list. You know, I still otherwise have to look for the other one. And this was a pain in the ass right here, because you just drop them almost non-stop, but also when you come up from behind, um... You can shoot those, so that might give a little time as far as um, being able to attack this guy. But this is a pain in the ass right here. Like, holy shit. Like, if you can shoot them while they're still up there, I think they damage the, the boss enemy guy. Ooh, and I take those to the face as well, which is not good for my health at all. Oh, that took long enough. Shit, that was that wasn't cool at all. So, we're gonna take these uh, these little helicopter minion guys out too. And oh, hey guy, how are you? I'm trying to pull a quick one there, aren't you? Ooh, you guys uh, make you jump, make you into Tony. Hey guy, I'm gonna take you out here in a moment. Just be patient. I think I take him out, otherwise I suck. It. Get my oh, Continue. get myself killed here. No, I don't. Cool. Well, pretty much I'm still learning this fight anyway. Um, there we go. Goodbye. I think I win. What do you think? Check that out. Peace out, motherfucker. Cool. All right, so that's done. Did for that thing and stuff. So that zone is clear. And I'll be getting on to other good stuff here in a moment or something like that.